Greetings to all melanated people all around the world. It's really a joy. It's a pleasure. It's an honor to be out here in nature and greeting you. Knowing I'm bringing a message of truth, a message of love, a message of emancipation to you. A message that if you apply it in your life daily, that it will work for you and you will come to know the truth and the truth will set you free. Now, with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to speak to you concerning mind power is God power. And the reason why I want to speak to you concerning mind power is God power is because many have the wrong understanding of who God is. So, for me to explain to you who God really is, I have to first of all get you to understand that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. That the Bible is not literal, neither is it secular history. Therefore, if you use the Bible and believe that the Bible is literal, it will enslave you and bring you under mental slavery. But if you understand that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically, then you will be able to use the Bible to create your reality consciously. Now, my brother and my sisters, whenever you come to realize the power of your mind and that God is your own human imagination and that without Him, which is your own human imagination, it is speaking about in St. John chapter 1 and verse 3, without Him, there isn't anything made that was made and that all things was made by Him which is your own human imagination it is speaking about the invisible man the inner man when you understand that you will also come to realize that whenever you speak about Jesus Christ and you have in your mind the belief of an entity or any power that exists outside of yourself that you are in idolatry and you are disempowering yourself and you are going against the creator that is in you and you are worshipping an idol so my encouragement to you is to take back your mind power by giving those who have given you Jesus Christ as a literal man 2,000 years ago to give them back their idol and choose to believe in the God that is within you. Choose to believe in your own intuitive power. Choose to believe in the creator that is in you and learn to create your reality Consciously. Now, Psalm 4, 4 tells you that you can create your reality consciously. And Psalm 4, 4 tells you all you have to do is believe in the God that is within you. And at night, before you go to bed, that you must commune with your own heart upon your bed. And go into the stillness. Go into meditation. Go in to take in your desire to the Father by seeing things through your mind's eye and going to the end and having the feeling of your wish already been fulfilled and fall asleep with the assumption that your intention has already been fulfilled and Job 33 tells you that it is at this time that God will seal your instructions because God is not an entity outside of yourself but it is the creative power that is within you now my brother and my sisters the Bible admonish you to look for God within yourself in Luke 17 21 where it tells you that you must not let anyone tell you, Lo, he's here, or Lo, he's there. For the kingdom of God is within you. That he is not a person 2,000 years ago. 
that he is a personification of your own human imagination. So it's, it is saying, do not let anyone tell you that the creative power is outside of you. For the creative power is within you. For example, I'm speaking to you and I'm looking through this camera. But this camera was first a thought. It was first imagined. The clothes that you're wearing, it was first imagined. It was first a thought. It was first an idea. The shoes you're wearing, the money that you're using, it was first a thought. It was first imagined. It was first an idea. Therefore, my brothers and my sisters, whenever you believe in a God outside of yourself, you are going against the only power and the greatest power that you possess upon the face of this earth, which is your mind power, and you are giving your power or your mind to be controlled by another. Thus the reason why when we were little children and going to school, they were impressing our subconscious mind to be religious and to have an employee mentality. So they will control our true currency, which is our thoughts. And so by doing so, control our time and our energy. But everything is energy and vibration. So all I'm saying to you, you have to reclaim your energy by taking back your true power, which is mind power, which is God power. So, my brother and my sisters, what I'm saying is that God is in you and you have to accept the fact that God is, with, is within you and that God is the creator in man and that there's only one creator and there's only one creative power, which is the power of imagining. And so you would no longer pray to a God outside of yourself, but you will go into prayer by having desire and going into meditation. And when you go into meditation, you will be able to see things through the single eye, or your mind's eye, or through the eye of God. And you will be able to go to the end because you understand the story of Joseph the Jima who went straight to the end and you understand that that it is your own biography, it is your own identity it is speaking about. And when you go to the end, you can always fall asleep and believe that it is done and it will come to pass in your life. So my brother and my sisters, all I'm doing here right now at this time is encouraging you to hold to the only power that there is to create your reality consciously and it is mind power by believing in the God that is within you and believing that your mind is the garden of Eden and believe also that as a man thinketh in his heart so is he and believe also that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. So with that being said I want to encourage you to continue to support this work by supporting my ebooks and to also support us and Patreon and for those of you who would like to learn more of this teaching and to learn it in such a way that you would be able to teach it to others. I have a mentorship program whereby if you are willing to donate 50 or more dollars on Patreon, I will give you my information and will be able to speak by way of telephone conversation where I can explain more of these things that I will have experienced in my own life with you and you will be able to teach others also and bring them into the place of abundance and prosperity while you yourself will be able to come into your place of abundance and prosperity also. So with that being said my brothers and my sisters I want to give you the sign, the sign of true enlightenment, the sign that allow me and enable me to be here speaking to you for hadn't it been that I would have awakened within my own self and exit my skull and found, and found my body to be the tomb in which God descended and come down and must ascend into regeneration 
then I would not be able to tell you, I would not have been able to tell you that the greatest mystery of any fatalist all can never be known intellectually, that it must be experienced. And when you have the experience, you will experience the dawning of a new day because you will experience the rising of the sun in you. It is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N. And when you come to that experience, you will realize that without the sun, there is no life and there is no light. And without the human imagination, there is nothing made that was made and that the human imagination parallels the sun and that we are the people of the sun. Therefore, we are to use our mind power to create our every desire. So with that being said, I want to say peace, love you, I'm out.